Hey everybody, welcome to another tutorial. Use media queries to create responsive layouts. Okay, this is some real stuff. You're gonna be using media queries a lot when you start doing real professional development. Uh, CSS Grid can easily, can be an easy way to make your site more responsive, meaning it looks good on multiple different devices, by using media queries to rearrange grid areas, change dimensions of a grid, and rearrange the placement of items. In the preview, when the viewport width is 300 pixels or more, the number of columns, columns changes from one to two. So that means once it gets bigger, it creates two columns. You see there's two columns here, and now there's one. And so it's using a media query to be able to ch change the difference of that. Uh, when the viewport width is 400 pixels or more, make the header area occupy the top row completely and the footer area occupy the bottom row completely. Looks like it's already doing that. Um, so yeah, Do they have a, oh, change it here. Change the code below this line. Okay, at 400 pixels, when the viewport width is 400 pixels, so the minimum width is 400 pixels, make the header area occupy the top row completely and the footer area occupy the bottom row completely. So here, I think what they wanna do is so when, the, when it becomes 400 pixels, we're gonna make it so that the header takes the whole and then the footer takes the whole bottom and so like to see right now the viewports at about 368 and so if we slide it out okay so once it gets larger than that and then there okay so there's three different um, media queries right now right one two okay it looks like there's just two. Oh, there's two and then there's the default I suppose and so right here we've gone to where in width, if the minimum's 300 pixels. Okay, cool, so the container's header, advert, content, footer. And this is the default area, this is when we're here. But right now we've got a rule that says, when the media, with the minimum width of the thing, as so as soon as this viewport, as soon as this viewport expands past 300 pixels, so right about there, it's gonna change. And then it's going to be um, in this advert header, advert content, advert footer. Advert stays along, on, along this column here, the header, the content, and the footer. And now once we expand even more, it's going to become header, header, advert content, footer, footer. And you'll see that that's going to happen at 400 pixels. So that's going to happen as soon as we reach, pull the viewport beyond this line right here. So if I grab it here, and as soon as we get to that 400 pixels, it changes, so then the header and the footer take up the whole space. Now oh, that's pretty cool. If we run the test, we'll see they pass. Okay, awesome, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and we'll see you in the next lesson.